guys, TT and back with another video. And today, well, finally, I'm back. So that's good. And uh, we're on my Minecraft world. Me and my friends built it King Jam, Danny Yeats, uh, Speedy, he's a new one that I found. But anyway, yeah, we built this completely on survival. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to show it off. So I'm gonna go back to the entrance because we actually haven't played on this in a while. So uh, let's get to it. Yeah, I probably just spoiled a lot of it anyway. But here you see we have our premium nether portal. Uh, Donovan was in this. My friend Don, but you left, so that's not, that, mm, and we'll get to those stuff later. First, we gotta show off the house, and I thought I had something we left, but I guess not. But uh, James used some bone mill here and stuff, you know. He kind of wanted to cover up his house, which is right here, which he calls James World. But uh, anyway, let's go into the little room. And you see, we got Jeb, the rainbow sheep, coolest sheep in town, chilling with his best friend. We haven't even named him yet, though. See, Green Fire Nation only. Only or visitor pass. See, come over to the booth. You ask me, I'd be like, all right, so you need this visitor pass real quick? All right, baby. And then I give it to them. That's for people who want to come and play on this, if you do. We got the shovel place. And now we come down here to the pig farm. See, we breeded a lot of pigs. Got the Man, who stole some of these carrots? Man, people are tripping. Anyway, we got some wheat and stuff. Probably gonna pick that up so I can give me some bread. Yup. Bread be good. I bet. Bow, mm. bing bong, and bye bye. Okay, and as you see, I built this door right here. See, bow. You know I'm stuck in. Yeah, because uh, I was tired of people coming to my base and I uh, grabbing wood. Even though we stole the wood from Danny first, but we ain't gonna talk about that. But uh, yeah, we just got it hands coming out of the wall just open up the pool just <sighs> kind of just made that little detail it's the first time i booked this room this room sucked it was terrible garbage stuff was all over the place but i got a bunch of bowls and stuff for dispensers and all types of stuff yeah let me give some bread but yeah mm, mm, mm. best bread in the country and here I have my own little garden and stuff, you know. Cause as you can see, sometimes people like to take the carrots out of the carrot room. So we got some little thieves. And see, got my little shop here. What's going on, pumpkin man? None man, what's good with you? None. Alright, anyway. <laughs> Hilarious, but anyway, yeah, I just gathered a bunch of armor from fighting mobs and stuff So I made my own little shop pretty sure nobody wants that since we got a bunch of iron We got some gold and this is our achievement room So far this is our first diamond. It actually isn't Don't tell the other people though Illager banner and ender dragon egg which we don't have yet cuz We ain't ready yet and this this is a machine I tried to build four different times. Four. Four different times. And on this try, it worked. Okay. So. Check this out. Bow. Oh, you want to see that? You want to see that? Look at that. Oh. Well, let's go again. Let's go again. Bow. Look at that. Dang. Fire. We ain't going to get to that room yet. First, we got to visit the green... Fire Nation room. Let's go. Oh yeah, wait, wait, wait. we gotta go to everybody else's room first. 
my bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, so this is Danny's room. Danny tried to trap me in here with dirt, as you can see. So, uh, his room kind of dirt. And, uh, don't mind the big old thing that's right in the middle of his room, taking, like, half of his room up. Don't even mind that. This is bad. And, yeah, you know, he created a little trap here because, uh, James likes to steal people's beds sometimes. And, uh, I just told Nanny don't touch this because it's actually the contraption that makes an armor set work. So, uh, told people not to... Right now, my doors? Hey, what's going on out there? Hold on, guys. Hold the way. You're gonna break down my doors in my house. Hey, look at this. Man, I'm gonna be stripping. Also, this is on hard mode, so that's why as long as you're actually able to break down the door. Oh, we already went in there. So, now. Let's go to James World. Check this out. Yeah, see, he, he kind of did the same thing as Nanny, but he actually filled in his whole room. He got four different beds here, you know. Always got out the bed. He has a little stuff. Got that. You know? And, yeah. He ain't really got much in. Oh, yeah, I forgot he had this. Okay. So, he has this chest filled with all his... Pretty much valuables. Oh yeah, nether scraps. And uh, I want to show you another secret, but I already know someone's watching this, so I'm not gonna show y'all nothing. But this is the training room for all the green fire nations. Just bow, just, just bow. Take a bark and take, take the, take the bow off the thing and shoot the pumpkin heads with arrow. Do I speak English, bro? Alright, uh, anyway, this is Speedy's room. He built it next to Green Fire Nation room. He got his own little bed, got his own little thing right there. You know, he do what he do. And, yeah, he got this. Oh, yeah, I gave him a pass. Because he's not truly Green Fire Nation yet. He got his own little thing going on down here. A little bit of light. And, yeah, he got a little water. He says it's a pool, but I don't look nothing like a pool. It's more like a hot tub. Okay. Close that. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. But let's go outside. Mm -hmm. Oh, ski scott. So this big large tower right here. Back up. Is a mob spawner. Up there is a bunch of water that runs down here, drops them down, and we get to keep whatever they drop. Yeah, we've been taking a lot of stuff now, the so that's why I ain't that much stuff right there. So let's keep going. So uh, I don't know what I was trying to do here. I forgot what I was supposed to do with this because I left this world. So everybody else left it. And we started a whole new thing. So I don't know what we're planning to do with this. I don't know what. Um What just hit me? Did the zombie hit me from up Bro they true. I know dang well a zombie did not hit me when I was up there. Bruh. Bruh creep back up, bruh. Creeper chill out. Ain't even like that, bro. Ugh, I gotta run. Man, I do slow. Anyway, let's get back into the house. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. We ain't really building nothing in the nether. We got a little bit of stuff. We do have another white pickaxe, but that's in a secret chest. And also, I have, uh, excuse me, a couple of secret chests up in here. We created a mine down there, but it it's pretty long, so you probably don't want to see that. Ain't really nothing special down there. But uh, anyway, 
Yeah, that's it. Well, at least for this world, on to the next one. All right, guys. So here, here we are. So you probably don't know what this is. Now you do. We created pretty much a Mortal Kombat type map. And, uh, yeah. So, let's go through the characters and through the maps that we built. Alright, so we'll start off with Sub-Zero. See, he got an advantage than most of these ones because I'm a player, obviously. But anyway, yeah, he got his little armor set. He has an ice axe, a bow, with slow arrows. So, that's very good combo. And there's also fatalities in this. I'll tell you the rules once we get to the maps. But yeah. Then we got the we got the whole set of armor here. Oh wait. Oh, that's what we forgot. I knew if we got something. But anyway, all characters have a block except sub zero for some reason. We forgot to put that in there. Blue Kang has his bow that has like eye on it, so it's pretty good. He has a sword named Bicycle. And he has his fatality moves right there. Then we have Scorpion. He has the weapon named Heckbringer. He also has a shield name. He also has a shield, which is blocked. And also, he has fire. Also, he has the get over here, like everyone. He has to have it. It's classic. Now, we got the little fatality things. I forgot we got to put those there. So, then Reptile. He's pretty overpowered, though. He has Reptile Claw with Sharpness 2, Knock Back 1. And then has a shield with Block, but we forgot to put the name there. As you see, this map isn't really that thin as much. Then he has Acid Spit. Oh, I had to make sure the camera was recording. But he has Acid Spit, which is also a very good attack. For Fatality, he has Crossbow with Multi Shot on it with Poison Arrows. Then we have Raiden. He has teleportation, he has block, and he has the Thunder God staff. Has loyalty, three, channel on one, and a breaking three. And also, we'll show you what else that can do soon. He has fatalities, he has instant damage potions. So anyway, I'm going to take his Thunder God staff real quick. So I can show you what it does. And here, we have... We have a quite we have a good selection of maps. This map is called Aqua's Home. You can be player one or player two. Or you can spectate. Have map tornado, spectate. Player one, player two. Actually, let me just go to the maps first. This is actually the very first map we created. So we're gonna start off with this one. Player one. So as you see, if I collect this block, it's a large barrier. Okay, see, they can jump off of this, but they're going to have to get off quick because it's going to push them. And look, this is how we start off the rounds. The person goes in here, round one, fight. As soon as he gets out, they're allowed to fight. Round two, fight. Round three, fight. That's in case the other person wins. And then you get to do your fatality. And then P1 wins, P2 wins. Okay, and then let's go to the spectator point of view right here you get to stand on the boats bow and look see look people won't even be able to see that unless you have the berry block in your hand so that's pretty lit let's go back here and oh yeah I forgot we had this uh, where is it at oh right here bow drop in and now we go on to Aqua's home we're gonna do we're gonna do P2 on this one. Yup, surrounded by fishies. Come up in here. You know, same thing. So we removed the P1 and P2 because it just just didn't seem like it needed that. And yeah, they fight, they do their thing. Okay, let's continue. Nice, perfect. But yeah, it has a little spectator area too. But we ain't gonna go into that one just yet. 
we're gonna go on to this one. Now, map is called Retro. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you what the map of this one is called. Tornado and Arkansas. Not sure if I said that before, but let's continue. Retro. This one is created, excuse me, by my friend James. Okay. It's just a little cool little map. We tried to make an instant music player, but it didn't seem to work, so we just like, no, whatever. Let's just get to it. Okay, let me just go over here. And as you see, we got the little spectator spot. This time we decided not to have the water and boats, just have this here. Okay, if I can jump. Okay, there we go. What are you good? Now we have two more maps to go over. Because this next one I'm about to show you is one that my friend James also created too. So he helped me partly on this project. Map, the Netherworld. Okay, let's go. P1. So basically you're fighting over lava. It's pretty lit. Fatality. And all that, yeah, all that's still here. And let me see. Oh yeah, the spectator is actually right above here. Yep, Just watch them fight from right here. Probably should have did the same thing with other maps, but you know, stuff is stuff. Now for the last map, and to all my friends, their favorite. And it's actually a secret one we can unlock by pulling all the levers. Probably already saw it. Excuse me. Juicy. So, for all the people that have seen people play VR chat and all that, they know about the green brush situation and all that. So, we have made that map in Minecraft. And I think we did a pretty good job at it. So, anyway, we need a button. Alright, bow, bow, and we are here, so let's just take a moment to see this, <laughs> I forgot to fill this in, okay, so this is a little spectator area, I would fill this in, but that's where they walk out of, he has a little milk in his hand, he's drawing, just like how he does on the game, and, yup, uh huh, <laughs> Me and my friends just went all out with that one. This is a little area where you spectate. Does it not have borders? Oh yeah, we never we didn't complete this one yet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we decided to remove the spectator thing. But anyway, this is where they fight. For some reason there's boats here. I don't remember putting boats here. But also there's little areas where you can fall down. Because there's also something like that in the actual Mortal Kombat games. So I thought it would be pretty lit to actually add that here. But uh, yeah, we're not sure what we're thinking of putting the actual like secret lovers at. But we're thinking, I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Also, I have another world that I want to show you though. But that is for another time. So see ya later.